Hey guys, today we're going to talk about glue guns and these things are very useful. I've been using this one for quite a long time. We've got the medium sized one and the small size one. We're going to see why I like this one as well. I use it a lot and today we've got something new. I went ahead and bought this 400 watt gun. It's got an adjustable heat temperature right here. And we're going to see what it's good for but mainly we're going to check out this little device which is a flat glue nozzle and is used for covering large services and we're going to give it a try so stick around and we'll see if this is worth purchasing <music> So first things first, we've got this regular all type glue gun. You put your glue on like so, and basically it's blobs of glue. And you take a second part and you press it all together. And by the time it, it basically cools down, you've got two pieces connected. The basic problem is that you can see it's not very evenly uh, spread over your um your material so it takes a bit of um talent to spread it equally using the gun and sometimes when you press the gun you'll get uneven amounts the small gun is amazing for these little tiny things you want to do so if you've got like something very small that you need to put a very small amount and very accurately uh, a small amount of glue this is what this gun is for. It's only about, I'd say 20 watts, but it does the job um, because as soon uh, you could do uh, very small things using the small gun. It uses this kind of, of um, material. The glue stick is a small diameter. You've got different kinds of, uh, of glue sticks available some of them are actually colored if you need black glue or blue glue or red glue you can get uh, glue with different colors so one of the problems i had with my regular gun is that when i used for a, i needed a lot of glue i used to press on the glue to get something going but it doesn't generate enough heat so i wanted something with a bit a little bit more oomph to it so I went ahead and bought this bad boy it's really big it's a nice large lever very strong in the feed and it's got these temperature buttons here where you can set the temperature so that's that's neat because sometimes if it's too hot and you're using let's say styrofoam you might warp the styrofoam if it's too hot so that's a cool idea but the main thing I wanted to use this thing is because I wanted to change the nozzle and this has a changeable nozzles. This, for example, is a long end nozzle for these hard to reach places. Really useful. All you have to do is detach, using a wrench, detach the existing nozzle and replace it with this longer one. But the main dish, basically why I bought this this device is this nozzle and this is a flat nozzle that enables you to spread your glue across a very large surface and I'm going to show you how this works and give you a nice little tip of how to use this so let's go ahead and change the nozzle and if we want to change the nozzle of course we can't do it while it's connected to electricity on the other hand we can't do it as well when there's a solidified glue inside so we need to liquefy the glue which means heating it up and then disconnecting it I like to power this off right it's now powered off and just for added safety I'm going to take it out of the uh, electrical plug and now I can use very carefully because the end is hot I'm going to use this little wrench usually there's a wrench that comes inside and open this put it upside up so it won't ooze out glue and you have to be really careful because this end is now very hot right not to get burnt 
this is this is the part and then we're going to put this inside like so and turn it all the way till it's like this right. there you go well I've got these two pieces I want to glue together and I'm going to use the glue gun with the flat nozzle so the first thing I need to do is turn this on I've already done that and it's now heating up into to 170 by the way this little device can go all the way up to 220 which is way too hot it'll melt stuff so I'm going to keep it at 170 now once it reaches the temperature I can start working and what I mean by working is I place the end of the nozzle like so and I start applying glue and as you can see glue is being applied quite evenly spread and I can even use the head to very finely spread it across this board I've run out of glue need to put some more in there there you go and don't worry about the glue because in a minute I'm going to show you a little trick it's going to make your life really easy so I, I went ahead and I placed glue all over the board like so I can even smear this because the 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 nozzle itself is quite hot and it can help smear the glue evenly now this is a rather small uh, amount of glue and a small surface to glue but if you're using a larger one you might find that when you start the place where you started applying the glue is getting colder uh, compared to where you're you're now working so this is cold and this is a bit more warm and you want you want everything to be as as warm as possible before you apply the other half so what you want to do is you take your heat gun and you apply some heat you apply some heat and, and basically what's happening right now is that all the glue is nice and liquid and I can place the, the top press it down hold it for a few seconds like so and presto the thing is glued and it's glued very hard together because there's a lot of surface touching one another all right and that's it that is the flat nozzle glue gun right in my opinion this is a definite buy you should get yourself one of these not only it's very powerful it heats up really quick and able, it's able to um, disperse a huge amount of glue in relatively a short time because it's very it's, its chamber is rather large it's comfortable it's not too bulky it is big it is big uh, you can change the temperature really it's a nice nice device and the flat nozzle is absolutely great so links for this and the nozzle you can find in the description below and if you have any tools of your own that you'd like me to review and figure out if they're worth anything or you think I've missed something uh, with my technique here uh, please leave a comment below now if you like this uh, and you see value in this video please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more videos in the future see you soon